Hey, your mama's got money, money. Money, your money, your money, your money. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Sad Men Reacts, where today we are reacting to the 10 biggest houses in the world. Basically, we're looking for a new Sidemen house because we're going to go I back. I haven't even introduced you yet, mate. They don't even oh. know you're here. Okay, Hello. Right <laughs> Damn. I'm here. I'm here. Damn, told me Josh, all. Josh, Josh is here. Smoke. <laughs> Man's all smoke. But as I was saying, was we're, look, we're, we're, looking, we're looking for some new Sidemen houses because we're going to move in together again. I would actually love that. I missed out on that whole thing, man. We're doing all seven of us in a huge house. Hey, yo, we should all just have a massive orgy. Oh, here we go again. You that was <laughs> Why did you guys do this? <laughs> bro, we just like in the living so this room. is why I moved out, you see. <laughs> JJ, play the video. That's why Simon stayed with you, I guess. <laughs> a volatile real estate market has made most people cautious about buying a home. But for the ultra-rich, opulent real estate is a must. These homes redefine the meaning of luxury, with amenities fit for royalty, and price tags that royalty. restrict these homes to individuals with well over a billion dollars. From French uh -huh. chateaus to uh, Indian geez. mega towers, these homes sprawl to unimaginable sizes. Today, we are counting down the top 10 biggest houses in the world. Ah, I'm obsessed with houses right now. And Tilia. Mukesh Ambani is one of the wealthiest people in the world and holds the title of India's richest man oh, with I a know. net worth of more than $40 billion. <gasps> Hence, it doesn't come as a surprise that his residence Ow. in Mumbai is a mansion worth a whopping $2 billion. As uh -huh. you do. Tilia, the Ambani residence is the most sought after house in the coastal city of Mumbai. And is it the whole the most expensive house, according to some reports. The Antilia is so huge and grand that it's visible throughout Mumbai. Wait, it's the house. It's the whole thing. Is First, also the whole a major building. attraction okay, for its odd and uneven shape. The building reaches 550 feet with over 400,000 square feet of interior space against the Mumbai skyline. Boasting several huh? rooftops and helipads, Go the ahead. structure was designed by American-based architects on 48,000 square feet of land in downtown South Mumbai. The building's right. construction took four years to That's complete. That's a house. There are three helipads on the roof, <laughs> an do. entire floor three. dedicated to servicing Ambani's Ooh. many cars, a health floor with a... Hey, your mama's got money, money. ...ice room for the family to experience... Money, your money, your money, your money. Bro, his money's got money. ...of which six are reserved for... <laughs> huh? ...that can accommodate up to one... That's his car park. Cars. Among what? many other indulgences, Damn. the house has four dedicated He's rooms for green gardens, where residents Jesus. can go to relax. It is certainly an impressive property. What the... Hey, yo, I'm loving this music. The Biltmore Estate is an enormous <laughs> private home and tourist attraction. Bro, in hey, yo, that's, that's, that. the main that's a castle. It's a oh chateau-esque style mansion built by George Washington Vanderbilt II between 1889 and 1895 and is the largest privately Whoa. owned house in the United States at 178,926 oh, square feet oh, of floor God. space and 135,280 square feet of living area. Huh. Still owned by George Vanderbilt's descendants, it remains one of the most prominent examples of the Gilded Age architecture. George Washington right. Vanderbilt II was an heir to the Vanderbilt fortune, which was amassed through steamboats, railroads, and various business enterprises. Construction of the house began in 1889 and continued well into 1896. In order to facilitate such a large project, a woodworking factory and brick kiln, which produced 32,000 bricks a day, were built on site, and a three-mile railroad spur was constructed to bring materials to the building site. Mm. Construction on the main house required the labor of well over 1,000 workers and 60 Man. stone masons. Oh. Vanderbilt went on extensive Whoa. buying trips overseas as construction the house was in progress. He returned to North Carolina with thousands of furnishings for his newly built home, including tapestries, hundreds of carpets, prints, linens, and decorative objects, all <laughs> dating between the 15th Dick century and the late 19th century. Bro, Jesus. this is number nine. Did they get bigger or is it just like... I think it's... Because one's ten, might be getting bigger. smaller, you know? But the first one was bigger than this one. The first one was two billion. I think mean, this is just top ten. It's like there's ten of them. It's okay. not in order. Okay, all right, cool. And the estate is valued at about $300 million. <laughs> 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 According to Forbes, Joseph Safra is the second richest Brazilian and the world's richest banker with a net worth of $15.9 billion. He heads the banking and investment empire Safra Group. The Safras are one of the most prominent Brazilian families. At their magnificent estates in Sao Paulo, Brazil, business deals are sealed for massive sums. Family affairs have always been conducted far from the spotlight's glare. The three that brothers never betrayed now, yeah. any hint of internal conflict that mm. is bound to exist with family ventures in massive financial dealings. They have a policy of resolving differences by coming to mutual resolution, always within the family, away from public scrutiny. That's Though good. The Safra palaces are not open. Yeah, that one should. Those close to the family <laughs> as extraordinary. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, it was there. Yep. It was too easy. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, sorry. no. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I heard that loud and clear, Toby. <laughs> Even by the standards of Sao Paulo's community of millionaires, this Californian-style residence spreads over a vast area of 230,000 square meters. It comprises 103 rooms, 24 of which are bedrooms. With you imagine hide and seek all those 103 rooms to search. The house also nah, bro. If you make me the fucking seeker, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> nah, bro. Or if you're hiding, you'll just go to the kitchen and start eating and then fall asleep. But, yeah, but yeah, then you're it... gonna find the room with the best signal and just sit on your phone and then fall asleep. That's what you're Play Dragon Ball Z. That's what you're gonna do. I don't even play Dragon Ball Legends anymore, man. I'm sorry, is it? Are you playing now? Cool now? These days? I'm actually just playing with my dick. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> For fuck's sake. This is cheaper. In addition to its renowned feature, a three million dollar heated marble driveway. And you just oh, no, is, you just don't. The driveway's need heated. The driveway you heated. don't need that. Bro. You have to sleep on the driveway. Hey, Even it stows there a lot. It makes sense. Yeah, but what's this being like Africa or some shit? Like, <laughs> <laughs> now, I think it's this is this in Sao Paulo. Like the Brazilian. Oh, bro, it's snow in, it's snow snow in Brazil. Snow in Brazil. Uh, to make sure, no, just to make sure the cars are warm. You know what I mean? Cars have feelings. Oh. Million dollar heated marble driveway. And of course, a house this big does not lack for a swimming pool. There are five swimming pools in the mansion, including five. an infinity pool. And if swimming mm. is not your sport of choice, mm. the house also includes a it's fully not. automated yes, no. bowling alley, a squash court, and a yes, tennis no. court. Yes, if no. all that's Bro. not enough, this giant mansion includes a customizable cinema okay. with a 50 seat capacity as well. Okay. The estate is valued at $138 million. Understood. Understood. Wittenhurst, London's largest private house, was built between 1913 and 1920 hey. on an 11 acre plot in Highgate, a wealthy hilltop neighborhood north of the city center. First owned by Arthur Crossfield, an English soap magnate, the mansion was designed in the Queen Anne wait, style. Wait, wait, he, he made soap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And was able to... Mad. Hey, we're, in the wrong, we're in the wrong industry, lads. You know what I mean? Well, well, what you I mean, is everyone, everyone <laughs> needs soap. Not everyone needs a hide and seek video. Yeah. Oh, shit. You have, to go, you have to make something everyone needs. All right, I'm gonna start making my own soap, but it'll smell like me. Hmm. So yeah, so no one's gonna want that. No, 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 no but it won't, it won't smell like, like, it'll so, smell like certain parts of me. Oh. So oh. It'll smell oh. like my dick juice. Yeah, there we go. He's at it again. He just yeah, woke yeah. up on crud every day. <laughs> you know, like, the juice that you get from under the gooch? Just... Oh, just... Oh, just... Talk about, about fucking mansions over there, bro. <laughs> what, what, what's happened? <laughs> You're from soap into like dick juice. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, this is why this is why we can't ever get an American audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is why we're just stuck here. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not well. I'm not well. The views from its gardens over Hampstead Hearth and across the capital were among the Wait, loveliest views from in the London. Sticks. For decades, Do you go back? Do you say Hampstead Hearth? The views from its gardens over Hampstead Hearth and across the capital? Yeah. <laughs> Hampstead Hearth. Not Hampstead Heath, Hampstead Hearth. Heath. <laughs> okay. Were among the loveliest in London. <laughs> For decades, do. parties at Wittenhurst attracted potentates and royals. Look, massive orgy, in 1951, JJ. Elizabeth, the future queen. Wittenhurst Jeez, was bought the by the family of the Jeez. Russian billionaire Andrei Guryev through an offshore company called Saffron Holdings, located in the tax haven. Uh, Andrei, can we do hide and seek there, please, lad? Yeah, yeah, that, uh, please. That's what we call it. Biggest house in the UK. In the UK. Hide and seek. But then after that, then how do we level up? Just do hide and seek in other weird places and from that point onwards. Yeah, just weird places, not big places. I want to do one in a tube station. Okay, hide and seek in... Uh, a political place. That's <laughs> Is that the title? Uh, hide, hide and seek. Hide and seek in, in a political place. No, no, hide and seek in the House of Parliament. No, no, bang, you know. I'd do that. I'd do it that. It would do well. Yeah, it would do well. Located in the tax haven of the British Virgin Islands for 50 million pounds in 2008. It has Ooh. 65 rooms spread across three floors, including Ooh. 25 bedrooms. Ooh. One of the largest is the ballroom, Ooh. measuring 70 feet long. I appreciate hide, hide and seek looking at it. It has oak flooring and the timber wall panels are in wall. <laughs> Bro, I can hide in <laughs> there. hide. I can hide in that little corner you know on the, the left there, just lie on the floor just like you can't see bro you, you ain't gonna see me you're gonna be like oh i don't see anything because i'm brown <laughs> and it's brown so i'll just camouflage so you'd be Fuck's naked it. essentially i'll do what i have to do for the hide and seek <laughs> <course. laughs> <laughs> for sake. other rooms are the drawing room study entrance hall and staircase and most of the bedrooms are all in an opulent classical style other richly decorated rooms include the dining room, Chinese room, billiard room, and the gallery hallway. Access to the Wait, property the, is via the a Chinese room. <laughs> China. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is via a three-fingered gatehouse. 
When remodeling is complete, right. it will spread Wait. over 90,000 huh? square feet. Second in size huh? only. Wait, well, hold on. What was that? Look, look at the car lift on the left-hand side as well. Oh my God. Jesus. Fuck. Foot long. All right, can we do a hide and seek there? All right, Andre, please. Hey, Andre! Bro, Andre. they got a two-tier cinema. What? <laughs> There's a Second hair salon. Only what the fuck? Palace. Wow. Versailles. David Siegel wow. made his money in timeshares, but ironically, when it came time for his own place, he decided to build the property. In fact, he's still building 10 years later and is not quite finished. By some mm -hmm. estimates, his Versailles will be the single largest residence in the country at around 90,000 square feet. Ooh. The name is an apt choice as it's modeled on the famous French palace and it's indeed palatial. The waterfront estate on a 10 acre Lake Butler Peninsula with almost a mile and a half of shoreline is scheduled to have all the usual bells and whistles. Two theaters, <laughs> 10 kitchens, a 20 car garage, okay. two elevators, okay. three pools, okay. and a bowling alley, all indoor right. roller rink, right. and arcade. I think we need to do Beach. more Simon channels. Can we make some more Simon channels, please? <laughs> I don't think at the current rate, I'm not, we have to get this house. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, what, 80 years? 80 Happy years? In 80 you think years. I've got 80 years left? Yeah, no, you, we got 80, bro. I'd like, be 108. Yeah, and then we can enjoy life. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> then it'll be so, like... I, so I shit myself daily, but as long as I got a big house. <laughs> Now you'll be on a USB drive by then, bro. It's <laughs> true, actually. It's very possible. I've got my Neuralink installed. I'll probably like install some new languages to my head. Wait, why are you, you're going to install a house in yourself? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, because you installed the memory of it. They did it to snails before. What? What? So, scientists have been experimenting with snails and they've been installing memories and deleting memories from them. Bad. Oh, poor snails. I don't know how, the, how do you know that the snail remembers it or not? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, my God. At a cost of $4 million, <laughs> exterior walls are precast concrete with Papadazzo marble veneer. The entryway will feature what? a 30 foot stained glass domed oculus, and the residents will have 10 staff quarters, each with a jacuzzi and a kitchen. The 13 bedroom home is expected to sell for more than $100 million when construction is finally complete. The project will be the fourth most expensive home in the United States. Oh my God. Wow. The world's next largest home is Via Leopolda, located on the French Riviera of France. It has a total of eight hectares in land, what is equivalent to eight football fields. The house was built for the Belgian King Leopold II, who paid one franc for the land in 1902. In 1915, huh? it became what? a hospital, and later in 1950, it was bought by Giovanni Agnelli, owner of the Italian car brands Fiat and Ferrari. Later on, the banker Jeez. Edmund Safra bought the house, but after his tragic death, the mansion was owned by his widow, Lily, which she eventually sold to Prokhorov. Oh, Via Leopolda is currently owned by a Russian tycoon, Mikhail Prokhorov, who bought the mansion for 300 million euros on August 8, 2008. The mansion is located in the hills of villefranche sur mer and beaulieu sur mer a few kilometers from the Mediterranean city of Nice. It has a garden of almost eight hectares with different olive, lemon, and orange trees that require oh, more than fuck. 50 full-time workers to take care of it. The mansion, amongst others, has a room of 400 square meters and 12 pools. The main house 12. contains 19 pools. deluxe rooms, 14 bathrooms, Why? antique furniture, and terraces. You can also find sports courts, a bowling alley, and even a movie theater. As expected, it also contains valuable marble and old period artwork. It's been featured in many TV shows and has appeared in Forbes magazine, as it's considered one of the most important properties in the history of Europe. Nice. That is nuts. The one. The one. <laughs> That's How shopping it. millionaires can almost always have their pick when it comes to real estate, whether it's a sprawling Georgia manor or space in a ritzy DC suburb. But a new mega mansion recently hit the market with a price tag only the super rich can afford, $500 million. <laughs> When it goes on sale, it would become the most expensive oh, home in the United though. States, oh equipped in the Chartwell Estate, known as the setting of the Beverly Hillbillies, and currently on the market for $350 million. Sweeping in every direction it's is a panoramic the one. view of Los Angeles and the Pacific yeah, Ocean. So Beneath so the main nice. building is a gargantuan glass and marble residence with moats, oh, four oh, swimming pools, 20 oh, bedrooms, a nightclub, a bowling alley, it's got a, a nightclub in it. and walls and ceilings made oh of jellyfish God. aquariums. The developer bought the lot, which included a 10,000 square foot house for $28 million in 2012. Six years huh? and lots of bulldozers later, a 105,000 square foot behemoth fills the site. LA has since tightened building regulations, so another home on this scale is unlikely. This was a huge gamble for the developer, and seven years later, he still hasn't found a buyer. However, the one is certain to be someone's dream home someday. Yeah. I need to hit them up. That could be that could be an American Holiday oh, video, bro. Imagine. Not. One billion Chinese yuan, or $149 million. This mansion is the most expensive home ever sold in mainland China. The 1,663-acre estate is named Taohua Yuan, which translates to Utopia, or Peace Blossom sick. Land. Located on a Jesus. private island on the city of Suzhou's Dushu Lake, it comes complete with 32 bedrooms, a cavernous huh. wine cellar, a lakeside swimming pool, and breathtaking gardens. Uh, UNESCO 
UNESCO World Heritage Whoa, Site. Whoa, imagine this the type of music videos you could do here. Holy fuck! Yes, you can. You if think? You ask them. Don't hire it out, man. You got money. To rent it out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you haven't got to buy it to do a video though. UNESCO World yeah. Heritage Site. This record-breaking home is surrounded by Dushu Lake and covers a staggering 1,663 acres. Traditional Chinese Damn. landscaping gives this three-year-old home a heightened sense of age and grandeur. All 32 bedrooms are south-facing for optimal sunlight. The 72,441 square foot mansion took three years to build, and all brickwork was handcrafted by Changshan Bang traditional architectural and building workers. The interior is equally as spectacular, with a beautiful wine cellar which looks large enough to store a lifetime supply of alcohol. Because of China's privacy laws, no one knows exactly who owns this incredible mansion, Mad. but it's certain that they have money oh, to man, burn. That's it. I love how he could pronounce their name so well, but he couldn't say Hensmore is one of the largest <laughs> yeah, no, it's weird, in the States. He practiced that one, that's why. the Ozark Mountains near Highlandville, Missouri, that spreads more than 72,000 square feet, Ooh. reaches five stories, contains 14 baths, 13 bedrooms, has exterior walls 12 inches thick, and was designed like to survive fake? earthquakes, that's tornadoes, and bomb blasts, and whose construction built. lasted from 2008 to 2016, with its owner Stephen T. Huff telling the Kansas City Star in 2015 that the house should stand for 2,000 years. Huff says the house will withstand an earthquake, bomb blast, and a direct hit from an F5 tornado. Whoa, Turrets reaching fuck? high from that Christian what? County mountaintop practically spit in the eye of the twister. This is how homes, hospitals, schools, and retirement facilities should be built, he says. Seen for miles in all directions, this mountain crescendo, one of the largest houses in America, reaches into the Ozark sky like a mix of Bro, French chateau. It looks, it looks hella lonely though. Well, you have all your friends there, I guess. That's a different, you have to like yeah. live with your whole family and friends. Imagine living in that yard on your own. That'd be the most depressing you shit. You have to be like your alone time, I think. A herd of exotic hogs roam the surrounding woods, and rumors about secret tunnels just thicken the plot. Conspiracy exotic theories hogs. abound that this property will be used by the Illuminati in the case That's of the apocalypse. On the roof. That's sick of yeah. That failed. Junk bond billionaire Ira Rennert has a massive house in the Hamptons. It's also pretty controversial. The business mogul, who Forbes says is worth $5.9 billion, was cool. recently in court defending Shoot the funding of his Sagaponyak estate. Representatives of a now defunct mining business he used to own claimed he looted the company to build it. And in late February, he was ordered to pay back at least $118 million in damages. But the mansion, constructed for about $110 million but now valued at closer to $400 million, uh. has been the center of a number of controversies since Rennert built it in the 1990s. The estate actually includes four different houses for a total of 110,000 square feet. The main house alone has 29 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms, a basketball court, movie theater, and bowling alley. In addition to three swimming pools and miles Jeez, of private shoreline, different. there's a hot tub valued at more than $150,000. The oh property taxes alone are $650,000 every year, more than oh enough to buy a incredible home somewhere property else. The uh, fuck? What well, exists to hit on tax a year? $650,000 a year? Well, don't don't you have to pay stamp duty? Yeah, but that's when owned. you buy the house. Yeah, this this is he pays it every year, just property tax. Do we have that in the UK? What? Unless that means like council we tax. We got council like... tax. Council tax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, bro. <laughs> right, but well, we need to get we need to get to work. So we need to make some more videos. So we probably out this one now. What the fuck? Oh my god. That is too much. That's too much money. Yeah, that, that is, is too much money.